Bruce wearing the red shorts. John in the white. Electing to not wear tie shorts in a tie fight. Yeah, interesting choice. Uh, I believe those are Chinese San Chao shorts, is what it looks like to me. Definitely you're seeing that. Very bouncy style. A very karate style. A little bit of a side kick. This will be interesting to see how he deals with this. Super quick. Yeah, very speedy fight. Neither fighter sealing the ring. A lot of explosiveness in the legs of Bruce Tran from what I can see. A little shorter of the two fighters. Making up, up with his ability to cover distance though. Yeah, he's, he's not having too, oh, nice job. Nice job. Very crisp. One, two. Not, see, not phasing John at all, he's right, right in there. No, but he is backing up though. He's stumbling back and it, it, it takes away his ability to do any sort of counter. Nice step out. There, now this is where I would be going. Yeah, we'll see, yeah, we'll see how Bruce handles the clinch. He didn't, uh, didn't get fully into it there to really test him. Changing the stance to southpaw. A real sideways, like you said, a real sideways style karate stance. Yeah, and the timing, his both feet are moving up and down. It allows him to cover some distance. He's getting a little more flat-footed than he was. He's throwing a lot of punches from weird angles, but his feet aren't flat, so I wonder how much power he's actually putting into there. jam on there, yeah. Yeah. Right. Fast pace opening round. Look for John to get, if they aren't phasing him, look for John just to get more and more comfortable with him just throwing it, those punches. Ooh. There, now he's starting to time it. All right, all right, John. A very quick uh, athlete. Yeah. Lots of head movement for Bruce Tran. He's not, he's not still for long. Nope. Oh, nice, nice, kick. nice kick. That was really nice. Real close to tagging him on the chin. Cut the angle, setting up that kick. Good entertaining first round. Not too much tie style in there. I think John has a little more tie style to him than uh, Bruce does. Yeah, look for John to really sort of establish that more tie style. It seems like he's getting more and more comfortable with those flurries that are coming at him. The distance is getting shorter and shorter, and Bruce is missing by less and less. So it's actually kind of good because it'll be allow John to get those knees, and he already did one of them. Yeah, you got to get comfortable with a guy who's bouncing him. Like Bruce Tran is quick. He's Very bouncing quick. around. He's moving. He's changing angles. He's changing stances. He's sideways. It takes a little something. That's probably not what John was expecting when he got in the ring here tonight. Nope. Had a card full of Muay Thai fights. So this bout. Brought to you by Impact Boxing, Team Spanish Muay Thai, Century Casino, Senia Health and High Performance, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Mucho Burrito, and CRS Merrill. Going into our second round, two rounds, our second round of three. Three rounds of two minutes. Modified Muay Thai at 140 pounds. Eight and five, Bruce Tran taking on John Yingen of Dynamic Martial Arts with a five and two record. Halfway through our event. Let's see what the second round brings. Bruce is still moving. Still Marvin the Martian out there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, nice. I saw that coming. Good idea, maybe start sinking in some leg kicks, see if he can slow it down a bit. Especially if he's trying to cut that corner with Leah and not stepping out. If he's leaving that leg in there, chop at those legs a bit. I'm not going to be Speedy Gonzalez over the ring. Yeah, we haven't seen anybody blocking any, checking any kicks or blocking any kick, no. kick low kicks yet. Nice kick to punch combo. John needs to get back on those leg kicks from the outside. He's trying to pin him in the corner a bit. Oh, Bruce finds his way out. He likes to move, so. There. There's Keep a nice leg kick. Answer back to this thing. Little mark showing on John's left leg. We've taken a couple. Bruce is pretty good with those angles. Oh, nice time to sweep. Ooh, oh, interesting. <laughs> Pinned there between the referee. Looked like a good uh, knee to the ribs. 
Now step in. Nice. There Ooh, we go. Measured off of Perfect. the cross. That's it. Using Relax. that distance. Relax, Hook cross. Relax. Then you got your right kick. Nice. John looks to be oh. finding his range here this round. Absolutely. Be patient. Be impatient. Make your shot. Nice. Catch it. And that will really take that toll. You start getting caught when you're hopping in like that. You're going to think twice. And look how flat-footed he is now. Yeah, the bounce, uh, the bouncing up and down is gone yeah. out of Bruce Tran's game right now. John's looking to start landing. There we go. Again, especially when Bruce gets in that uh, open stance where he starts to go southpaw. John really lines up. There, there you see it. Oh, nice nice knee just missing off the chin. Modified Muay Thai rules, no knees to the head, but that one didn't uh, land, so. Yeah, he was aiming for the chest, so. Oh, uh, yeah, sure he was. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a look at our replay. You can see uh, nice. John stepping in with the right cross, just missing with the kick. Stepping in, no damage there. Not really turning over his hips, though, so it's just leg weight. Like I said, John's starting to get a little more. I think he's not nearly as intimidated. He's picking up before. momentum for sure. Yeah. And uh, nice Bruce cross. definitely slowing down in that round. So the bouncing from his uh, stance and uh, switching from southpaw to orthodox and back has faded away. He's breathing with his mouth open in the corner, as is John. Both guys fit, ready for this last round here. Scheduled for three rounds. Modified Muay Thai at 140 pounds. Interesting to see how the judges look at this because even though Bruce was landing, this is a tie fight, and so there are certain things they should be looking for. It'll be interesting to see if uh, the judges kind of count some of the stuff. Yeah, not a, not landing. particularly effective strikes. I mean, they're no. they're busy. Lots of like you said, peppering shots, but and tie boxing is really about damage and composure and applying that technique. If you're just kind of slapping around and landing some stuff, but it's not doing anything, well, then it's not doing anything. So you're not going to get no points for it. John looking much more composed, trying to put uh, Bruce in the corner. He spins out of the corner. He needs to start using that right kick. Oh, nice chop to the legs as he spins out. Hook, he, look, he was looking for that cross there. Bruce will look much more on defense this, for, this round than he Absolutely. has been before. There's that cross again into clinch. Nice knee. It'd be nice to see that clinch go a little bit more just because he's not from comfortable with it. It's looking a little bit spazzy and the judges are breaking up, but I'd like to see John establish some dominance in that clinch. Yeah, get in the clinch, keep active, keep the referee out of it, yeah. and uh, see what you can do. Spin nice kick. kick. Those don't feel good. I've had those. No. John needs to start using his legs a bit again to get in. He's playing hands versus hands with a much faster opponent, so he needs to start cutting off that ring. As Bruce turns to, comes out to John's right, he needs to throw that kick right there. Don't let yeah, him be Bruce, running around. Bruce is moving there. around, but stumbling out of the corner in some cases. That was perfect. As soon as he cut to that, out, that side, he throws the kick. Corral your opponent in the corner. Bruce is ducking out of a lot of those shots. A well-timed knee might uh, take it right to the chops, but I don't think that's uh, part of the game plan here in this modified move with Tyrell's boat. Nice knee. You can break some space. Knee. So yeah, that was a little early breakup. Yeah, I agree. The referee got in there pretty early. But, uh, needs to, just because one opponent shows a clear dislike to the clinch isn't an excuse to break it early. Absolutely, I agree. Have a look at our replay here from our third round. Good entertaining fight, no matter how right. you slice it. Absolutely. I think the judges are going to side with John on this one just because it is a Muay Thai fight. And just running away and ducking away the way that Bruce was might not have awarded him the points, even though the safety he had afforded him. Yeah, he didn't seem comfortable in the clinch. I didn't see him throw much in the clinch. He, no. Anytime he landed in the clinch, he wanted to get out of it, which is fair enough if it's uh, not your forte. But uh, I definitely have Bruce. Uh, he was all over him in that first round. It looked like he was taking that round. And yeah. after that, uh, really turned into John's game, I think. So. so really, it's how the judges interpreted that sort of style within the confines of Muay Thai sort of fights. So it'll be interesting. Definitely expecting a split decision. This boat, our fourth boat. 
Brought to you by Impact Boxing, Team Spanish Muay Thai, Century Casino, Stenia Health and High Performance, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Mucho Burrito, and CRS Merrill Insurance. Insurance. Coming up next should be our fifth boat. Starting to get into it now. Yes, absolutely. We're getting the swing of things. We got from here on in, we're five rounders as far as I can tell. We got uh, full Muay Thai all the way, rig to the end. Also, we got a Canadian Muay Thai title defense coming up. An international prestige bout, Canada versus Sweden. And of course, Kelsey Andres, uh, fan, fan favorite here, putting her undefeated 13-0 record on the line against the six foot tall Erika Bjornstrand out of Sweden with an 11-4 record. I'm looking, really looking forward to that. I'd like to see Tick Kelsey challenged, which I think we will see that. Ladies and gentlemen, please let both of these fighters get a rousing round of applause for big hits and accurate strikes. The trophies and the bout, again brought to you by Impact Boxing, Team Smanich Muay Thai, Century Casino, Stenia Health and High Performance, RJ Fight Gear, The Shooting Edge, Mucho Burrito, and CRS Merrill Insurance. And we have a winner by split decision. Another split decision? In the red corner, Bruce Trent. Trent. Interesting decision, split decision. Did you surprise people in the house for that one? But